lesson on cricket, we're going to be looking at bowling today. So one of the main bits in cricket. Wouldn't say I'm the best, but I'm going to be trying my hardest. Okay, I'm going to be trying to teach you as much as we can, but not going too crazy. The equipment we'll need today is obviously the stumps over there, what we're going to be aiming to hit. I've got a couple of cones to make sure I don't go over the line. Because in cricket, if you go past it, it's a foul. Okay, so you make sure you're behind it. And of course, I've got some tennis balls because they're a bit softer. I don't want to be throwing some heavy cricket balls at it. Okay, when you're ready, make sure you push pause. If you're not, just push pause now. Okay, perfect. So this is the warm up for lesson seven. So with a bit like the football, we're going to recap last lesson, which we did fielding. So the warm up today will be based around that. So what can you remember from last session, basically? All right, so same equipment that we need. Okay, now you should have your ball now, your tennis ball or whatever you may have is fine. Okay, and just to begin with, we're just going to practice rolling the ball and then getting behind it. Okay, so watch this. Look, I've got comb here, comb here, and all I'm going to do, move these out of the way, is I'm going to look, I'm going to roll, get behind the comb, pick up there. So look, roll, get behind the ball as quick as I can, pick up there, roll. Get the home off ball, pick up there. Now, if you throw the ball too long, it doesn't matter. Just run a bit fast, okay? How quickly can you get to the ball? Because in a game of cricket, the quicker you get there, the more chance you have of getting the person who's batting out. All right? So, like, you roll, get behind, pick up. Roll, get behind, pick up. Roll, get behind, pick up. And actually, it's quite hard work because you're running constantly, okay? So, keep doing it. So, roll, get behind, Pick up, roll, get behind, pick up. Couple more goes. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Roll, get behind, pick up. Roll, get behind, pick up. Perfect. Okay. So that's our roll when we're folding. Now we're going to make it a little bit longer. All right. And all we're going to do is now instead of rolling it, we're going to try and bounce it a little bit. All right. So watch. All you're going to do is that bounce. Get behind, pick up. Now, obviously, when it bounces, it's a little bit harder to get the ball because it's not flat on the floor. You've got to try and predict where the ball is going to bounce. And obviously, with grass like this, where it's slightly uneven, you don't know where it's going to bounce, all right? So you be wary of that. Try and think about that. All right, so ready? So look, bounce, get behind, pick up. So look, throw up, bounce, get behind, pick up, bounce. Get behind, pick up. Hey, okay, keep doing it. So bounce, get behind. And if you can, try and get there while it's still in the air. So it might be that for me at the moment, I'm not throwing it high enough. So look, higher, get behind, catch. Up, get behind, catch. Up, get behind, catch. So we're going to do that now. Okay, so now we're throwing the ball slightly higher. Okay. So watch me, we're looking for one or two bounces before you catch the ball. All right, so look, up, get behind, catch. And in a game, look, I'm ready to throw it at those stumps. So look, up, get behind, catch. And watch, when the ball's in the air, I'm always watching the ball, okay? So it's up, watching it, where's it bounce? There, then I can throw. All right, so look, up, get behind it, catch. Oh, nearly. Up, slightly higher. Can you get behind it? Oh, I missed it that time. Ready, up, get behind, good. It might be that it's out your, your grass, so you've got to use one hand and kind of jump towards it. Or it might be nice and close to you, where you can just catch it like that. All right, so one more, couple more goes. Look, watch, up, get behind, whoa, throw. Up, get ready to throw when you get it. Perfect, okay, last bit now. We're going to go on from last week. Let marker, okay? The ball must always go behind here before you throw it at the target or the stumps or whatever you're using. So look, we're going to start here, all right? And we're going to use our throwing one. So we're going to throw it quite high. So look, so you're going to throw up, you're going to try and get behind, you're going to pick it up, and then you're going to throw. There, like that, all right? So if your target falls down, pick it back up really quickly, 
and then we can go again. So how many times can you do this now? Look, so ready, look. Start by the stump, throw up, get out to it quick, pick up. Oh, man. Okay, here we go again. Get your ball, go back here. Ready, watch this, look. Throw up, try and get round it, pick up. All right. And again. Yeah, again, look, target is down. If it's down, it's a good thing because it means it's hitting it hard and you're hitting it. Okay, is what we're looking for. So, look, ready? Start by the cone, up we get. Try and get behind it. Ready? Three, oh, blows. Ready to go again. So, keep going here. Now, remember, it's different to bowling. When you're throwing and you're fielding, you're bending your arm. You want to throw it as hard as you can. Okay? And make sure you're releasing it at the right time. If you want to, try rolling it now if you want. You might go for a roll. Get behind and then throw. So up to you. All right, same again. Watch, ready? I'm going to go for a slightly higher one. Can I get it? It's in front of the camera. Come in. Okay, a couple more goes and then we're done. So ready, and next to the stumps, I might go for a higher one this time, so high. Can I get behind the ball? Can I see where it bounces? Oh, nearly, 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 nearly. All right, one more time. Two. So this is our seventh lesson. Okay, we're gonna be doing cricket, but we're gonna be looking at bowling today. And we're gonna look at three different stages of bowling. So our first one we're gonna be looking at, is gonna be underarm. And you guys should be the pros now, because we've done the lesson a couple of weeks ago about underarm pro. So you should remember the stages of, of non-foot goes in front, non-throwing arm points and then we go under and throw okay and we let go when we get to our finger so that's the little things we're going to be looking at as you see i've got a orange box here and that's what we're going to be aiming the ball to bounce in okay because when you're bowling the ball has to bounce before it hits the stump okay so all we're going to do is foot in front point and aim we just want to try and aim the ball that bounces just before it, okay so you get a point every time it lands in the box. So ready? Just try and get it inside the box. Perfect. There. Lovely. I've got three points there. I'm doing all right today. So ready? I'm going to collect my stuff. And I'm in the box. When you're bowling, if it goes too wide, you have to do the bowl again. Okay? So it doesn't count. It has to be inside a certain area. So we're going to be using the box. If it goes outside the box, no points. So remember, one foot in forward, I point, my throwing arm goes backwards and I let go when it reaches. Ooh, bounce inside, so that's always good. So ready, bounce inside, oh, and hit it that time. Get in there. So all I want to see at the moment, all I want to see is us getting the ball to bounce inside. Bonus points if you can try and hit the stump as well. But at the moment, just trying to try and get it in that box. Foot forward, point. Here we go. Bounce inside, perfect, that's a point. Bounce inside, good. Oh, I'm getting better. There we go, collect. Cool. So that's what we're trying at the moment. In cricket, when you're bowling, to get someone out, you actually want to try and hit the stump. So now we're going to add up some points. If you get it in the box and it doesn't hit, I'll give you one point. If you get it in the box and hit it, you get two points. If you miss, you get zero. So ready? I get two points because it hit the stump and it's landed in the box. Let's see if I can get it again. Ooh, that time it just landed in the box but it didn't hit, so that's one point. So so far I've got three. That time I've got two again, so now I've got five. collect. I'm going to have a couple more goes, see if I can carry on. So far, got five. Left foot forward, point, arm, and it bounced in the box. Bounced in the box, I've got six now. Oh, bounce again, seven, nine. Bounce inside and hit. Nine points out of six throws, not too bad. Let's see how you guys are getting on. So that's the beginning bit of when we start bowling, just to try and understand the rules and what we have to do. Now, when we bowl, we can't actually bowl underarm. 
we actually have to keep our arm nice and straight and we go over like a windmill. So what I want to see is arm go straight above and we want to try and throw it and try and hit <laughs> straight into the bush. Ready? I go up, I go down, bounce from side and hit. Ready? Arm nice and straight and then go down and try and throw. I go collect this thing. Can't go get my one but went into the bush. That is now lost forever. So again, arm has to be straight when bowling. So ready? Foot in forward, I point, arm goes above, I'll just bring it down. Perfect. Go above, and then down. Go to left. This is one of the golden rules. Your arm cannot be bending at all. It has to be straight. So what Rob taught me is that when you're bowling, you want your arm to brush against your ear. So you go up, Next to your ear, you brush against it and throw. Get ready? Brush. Throw. Oh my. <laughs> Dodgy bounces, guys. Luckily, just magical balls appear. Ready? So we're going to carry on practicing. Ready? Pointing still. I go above like a catapult. I bring it backwards and I go to get it in there. So what we might now try and do is we point, we're just going to rock back a little bit and bend our body backwards and then go forward to throw. Okay? Oh, where are these come from? Ready? Point. I might go backwards and watch my back foot this time. It's going to go forward and come forward. Okay? You see that? My foot, what's going behind, comes off the floor and I go forward. Throw it. Got plenty now. So ready? Pointing left foot forward. Arm like a catapult. We want to get the power. And then my right foot comes forward. Nice. Everyone is landing inside. Got one more to use. Fantastic. Then I have to collect all of them. Left foot forward. Arm pointing. Catapult. Go backwards. Watch this leg here. It comes up and goes forward. Now I need to go collect all of them. Give me a couple of seconds. Oh no. Like a catapult. I bring it backwards and I go to get in there. So what we might now try and do is we point, we're just gonna rock back a little bit and bend our body backwards and then go forward. Okay? Oh, where are these come from? Ready? Point. I might go backwards and watch my back foot this time. It's gonna go forward and come forward. Okay. You see that? My foot, what's going behind, comes off the floor and I go forward. I'm trying to throw it. Got plenty now. So ready? Pointing left foot forward, arm like a catapult, we want to get the power and then my right foot comes forward. Nice. Everyone is landing inside. Got one more to use. Fantastic. Then I have to collect all of them. Left foot forward, arm pointing. Catapult, go backwards, watch this leg here, it comes up and goes forward. Now I need to go collect all of them, give me a couple of seconds. Oh no. I have to go in here, I'm back. We're going to have three more throws. Trying this way. Remember, let's do step by step. Foot forward, my non throwing arm point. I go back like a catapult and ready, my back goes backwards and then look, I just go forward. Landing in the box, that's okay. Point. Backwards. Perfect. I go backwards, ready, aim backwards. Ooh. Same points as last time. It's going to be a little bit trickier now. So you're still aiming for this box. Can you get it in? That's our second way of bowling. This is going to be our third way. Okay. This way, how we're going to do it is going to be called the rock and roll. So all we're going to do, same thing. My toes are now going to be pointing forward, going this way. I'm standing inside. My arm points. Arm still up nice and high. And what we're going to do is we're going to rock one way. And when we go over, we throw 
and we're up. So now I'm facing the other way. So watch again. I start here. I do it without the ball. I'm facing forwards. I point forward my hand. Arm always straight. I rock. When I'm about to throw, I roll and I land facing the other way. So my leg stays on the floor but turns. So let's try it with a ball. I point, facing one way, arm back. I'm gonna rock, might try a couple of rocks. And then when I'm about to go, I roll. Oh, I just went over, but I'm still landing this way, it was fantastic. Ready? We're gonna be aiming for point. Arm locked, rock, rock. And then I go, yes, great bowl. That would be out, no one's hitting that one. I'm going to the floor. Floor. Grab a couple more go. This is probably the hardest one, but it's the closest one to looking like a real cricket ball. You ready? Facing, pointing, arm nice and straight like a catapult. I rock, I go over, and I rock. But now I'm facing the opposite way. Got two more balls, we'll try with two more balls. Let's see if I can hit it again. Catapult, pointing, rock, rock and roll yes ouch last one arms straight always trying to brush my ear remember rocking rocking over whoa nearly 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 your last challenge oh just gonna disappear for a second one sec I'm back. One, two, three, two. I'm back. I lost even further than I thought. Okay, got them back. Your new challenge is going to be, we've had a guideline with a box to roughly where we have to aim. So now we're going to take it away and see if you can try and remember where back you have to throw and point to bounce. So now you've got no guideline. So we're going to have, let's say, six throws. Two points if you hit it, one point if you get near. So ready? Start here, I rock, and then I roll. Oh. <laughs> Straight over. Ready? I rock, I go over. Yes, that's two points, ready? Feet facing away, arm nice and straight, rock. I always want to make sure I'm facing the other way afterwards. So two in a row. Coming a natural now. England call up found. I've now got three more throws. Ready? I'm gonna rock. Go over. Oh. Looks like I've got one more go because I've got no more ball. <laughs> Ready? I'm gonna rock. Last one, can I hit it? I go over. Oh, <laughs> so close. Okay, well done to you guys. Practice that. Okay, when you're ready, you need a pen and paper for the questions later. Pause now so you can get ready. Push start when you're ready. Yeah, ready. So now I pre-warned you, we've now got a pen and paper, so it should be there already. Okay, we've got two questions today and a little bit of a challenge at the end. First question is going to be, our golden rule is, what do we have to do with our arm when we're bowling? Is it allowed to be bent or is it not allowed to be okay our second question is then going to be when we're doing it it's called rock and you have to try and tell me the last word so rock and something that's the second question your third challenge is going to be with one of your parents or guardians whoever's looking after you can you do a little game where they actually have to stand in front and protect the wicket whilst you have to try and roll and try and hit it okay you have to have your parent try to spot it that's your little challenge for this week. Keep trying over the weekend. It's lovely weather, so no excuses. Well done this week. See you later.